hi ladies i am nia welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome it's so good to have you here today we're going to be talking about home dates why they're never a good idea ever um and bear in mind that i'm speaking about the beginning stages of dating of getting to know somebody so um if you are not in an established relationship with someone if you've just only known the person for a couple of weeks i would strongly suggest against house dates and today we're going to discuss why okay so let's get straight into it first of all i just want to talk about the messaging that it sends but I do have my notes down over here. So if you see me looking down, that is why. And if you want to take notes, feel free to do so. So the very first thing that I will say about home dates and why they are never a good idea at the beginning is they really send a very strong and clear message to the man that you are willing to put in effort with somebody that you don't know and you are willing to really compromise yourself um, very early all right and what do I mean by this so first of all if this home date is at his home that means you are willing to get out of the comfort of your home and go whatever distance it is to him and hopefully it's at his expense and if it's at your expense that's a further miss and this dynamic basically has him in his comfort zone in his um territory sitting around waiting while you put in all, uh, all the effort that automatically turns the dynamic of feminine and masculine around where you become the the masculine principal because you're putting in all the effort and he's the feminine principal who's just laid back and waiting on you to get home so we definitely don't want to set that kind of dynamic ever and you don't want to set that in the beginning because it's very difficult to come Some back ladies might say well what about if he comes over to my place well if it's still early in the relationship i'm still going to discourage that in fact if you guys aren't even talking relationship yet it's dates i will definitely discourage it because having a stranger in your space is very very dangerous you know guys are not always who they say they are just like not all women are who they who they say they are right so if you're going to have someone in your space now they have your address and god knows what other details they could pick up while they're in your space that is still the same principle of letting somebody that you really don't know into a very personal part of yourself very, very quickly. Okay, so you don't really want to open up yourself to certain security risks. And some men are scammers once they know where you live and how you live and who you live with. Okay, that puts you in danger. So now, ladies, I know life is not black and white. There's a lot of gray areas and sometimes you are going to end up having a house date or you're going to choose to have a house date with somebody that maybe you you've known for a long time but you're only just starting to get romantically uh, involved with i understand that so the next couple of points i'm going to make are for those instances where you have signed up for a house date what to definitely not do if you are trying to maintain your feminine polarity in the relationship in other words you still want him to pursue you you still want him to put effort you still want him to see you as the prize in the relationship there are a couple of things i'm going to give you three things to make sure you do not do on these house dates. point number one and i cannot stress this enough ladies please do not do house chores okay it is a date now what do i mean by house chores i mean you're not cooking you're not cleaning up dishes you are doing nothing but being there and allowing this man to 
treat you, whether he chooses to cook or order in, whatever, okay? You are not part of making anything happen. You are an invited guest. And as an invited guest, you lean back and you allow this man to entertain you and show you a good time. If he expects you to do chores, get in an Uber and go home. And the reason I emphasize this as number one, if you get nothing else, this alone will change the game for you, is because men will try and get as much as they can for as little as possible, right? So if he knows that in you, he has a girlfriend, a maid, a mom, all of those things, it changes the dynamic so much, right? I've made a video about really making sure that you stay as his girlfriend, you don't cross over to mom. I'll link it up here. Make sure you check that out. If you want to maintain your feminine pedestal or presence in a relationship and you want it to get better, do as little as possible in the beginning, especially stuff that he will eventually maybe earn. Number two is making conversation or trying to be the entertainment. Now, this will apply on house dates as well as any other dates, right? Ladies, we usually have this tendency of thinking, okay, well, if he's treating me to all of this, then the least I can do is just keep the conversation flowing and whatever. Now, I'm not saying be a wall or be a rock or, you know, something that doesn't communicate. But what I am saying is don't carry the burden of the conversation. That is not your burden to carry, okay? You don't have to be bored or boring, but your job is not to entertain. Your job is to let him entertain you. If he is telling you jokes, laugh at his jokes and all of that kind of stuff. And you can be witty and have some banter here and there, but... Don't take it upon yourself to make him laugh. Do you know what I mean? There's like a, a, a fine line between trying to make this man laugh and being witty and engaging him in a witty way, right? Uh, between trying to make conversation and just carrying the conversation and, you know, allowing it to flow. There's a very big difference. You want to be on the feminine end of it where you are open, responsive, receptive, you're laughing at his jokes, you're whatever, you're not trying to make it. And then lastly, sleepovers, okay? <sighs> Once again, we're all grown-ups. You will ultimately make the decision that feels best for you. And at some point when it doesn't feel so good anymore, you'll make different decisions, right? So my suggestion with sleepovers though is once again minimize them and the easiest way to minimize them is just not to go to a home date at all right just don't even go there but if you're already there you know don't stay over don't sleep over if you can help it because once you it this dating is a game of testing boundaries and if you think about it, children test boundaries all the time. Other people test boundaries all the time. Men will test your boundaries. And nothing has to happen for him to feel like it's going to happen soon. And that's the point. Now, I'm not going to go into like the more um, political side of sleeping over and what you agree on and what you don't agree on and all of that kind of stuff. Like everybody's a grown up. You have decisions to make by yourself. If you, you know, want to do certain things and if you don't, it's totally up to you. But for me, the reason why I strongly advocate against sleepovers is, you know, at the beginning is ladies, you want to keep as much mystery as you can. That is where our leverage comes from. When a man feels like he knows nothing about you. He will chase you to the ends of the earth and back. If he feels he knows everything about you, what's there to chase? Nothing. So when you are facing certain 
situations that's really where you need to come from in my opinion you want to come from a place of okay i want this man to chase why do we want him to chase because that's when he's going to give you the best of the best when he's chasing that's how they work so you want to keep him in that dynamic for as long as possible and if you are already sleeping over he knows what your pajamas looks like he knows what you look like when you're asleep he knows if you snore or not you know all of this stuff it may seem cute to you because of hollywood but to a man it's a total turn off it's like he already knows you you're too familiar now he's eyeing that girl that he has no idea he has he knows nothing about her <laughs> And dating as a feminine woman, that's really how I approach many of my scenarios, is I look at it from a point of leverage. Leverage, leverage, leverage. How do I maintain my leverage, right? As the feminine principle in this dynamic. And that's why I say no to home dates, just like I say no to free dates because that really puts the dynamic the other way around you know you want to maintain your femininity as much as possible you want to maintain your mystery as much as possible you want to maintain your leverage as much as possible and the way that you do that is you have your set of things that you want and you only entertain that and nothing else so ladies i hope this video was helpful i'm gonna leave you over here and as a parting remark um and a disclaimer ladies you are grown you're free to do whatever feels comfortable for you whatever feels good for you and like i said life is not black and white there's a lot of gray but from my perspective a lot of the times when i hear women talk about I don't know what to do it's like okay let's backtrack what happened well he invited me over to his house for a date it's downhill from there i'm sorry like in my opinion i've seen enough ladies to know that it it ends in tears okay so if you want to save yourself all of that drama just don't do it all right i'll see you beautiful ladies in the next one remember to stay feminine and stay on your pedestal okay <laughs>